Oh, oh my goodness. Um, looks like we've got some Chinese coins. What's going on, everybody? Christian from Treasure Town here, and I just got an amazing treasure of a collection to unbox, evaluate, and possibly help sell, but I saw some incredible things when I opened the case. I haven't taken a close look through it, but I mean, there's just tons of very old silver coins in here. Um, it looks like there's everything from proof American silver eagles to, you know, old um, silver coins. And I was looking at it for the person a little bit, and there's some ancients, you know, tons and tons of different silver coins. Um, so I'm super excited to do this unboxing. I'm just going to go, it's probably going to be a long video, but coin by coin, I mean, we've got what looks like some silver down there. Um, some, you know, looks like another proof silver eagle. I think that this is going to be a really cool hunt. I haven't had anything this awesome um, in terms of like a fresh collection come across my desk in a super long time. Um, so pumped to get into it. And yeah, we'll show you everything in this basement hoard um, that we found. Uh, excited. I wonder, you know, I would estimate at least a few thousand bucks um, of value here. Uh, just based off of what I see, but you never know. Let's get into the coins. And I am so excited. I'm like a kid in a candy store. Check out all this treasure. Let's start looking at it. Um, I guess I'll just pick up like this. I can, I don't know, sort of go arbitrarily through and just see what's there. I'm not sure when this collection would have dated to, but I don't think it's too much past 2000. Uh, but we've got a 1997 um, American Silver Eagle. Um, we've got a pretty nice condition 1922 piece dollar, and I think I'm just going to do this basically the whole way through. Um, this one is, let's see, oh, interesting. Um, looks like a Liberty du, uh, Liberté du Courtage, Cours Officielle des Sois, 1866. Wow, okay, looks like some sort of a French medal by uh, Bonnet F. Um, interesting, probably silver. Uh, my guess is valuation floor of 50 bucks could be way higher. Um, let's see what else. 1921, no mint mark. Uh, last year that they made the Morgan silver dollars. These ones they made 1986 and they continue them today, but they uh, in 2021 they did away with this reverse, which I really like, um, but I guess it's good to switch up the coinage sometimes. Uh, that one looks like it could be either Taiwanese or Chinese. Um, or Japanese might be actually I think it's Japanese um, 500 yen I wonder if it's a rare commemorative it doesn't really fit in with those coins particularly well let's see what this says Belgium this is a King Leopold the second Belgium five francs deal with these a fair amount um, very nice cool um, let's see what else we've got here Chinese cash coin from 1736 to 1796 one 75 125 let's see what this coin could be interesting looks like some sort of a ancient roman would be my best guess i don't i honestly often i have um people and that it could be nero i think that this is real but the lettering looks a little funny to me but um very interesting we'll have to follow up on you know what this coin is but it could be quite valuable i don't know um I think it, it looked like some sort of a tetradram um, from, I don't know, maybe Nero or the Bactrian, something like this. Here, this says it's a Hadrian lead seal. Um, I want to say it was Hadrian, what, like 98 to 117 AD, somewhere in that range. Um, fascinating. Super cool. Um, wow. Interesting item for sure. Um, I feel like I'm going to try to separate out some of the ancients as I find them from the world from the u.s what does that say august this is like such just a vintage collection um and very pretty um look to it uh probably from the augustine empire there's multiple different um you know issuers roman uh, provincial probably sc is like the senatum consul like uh i'm gonna learn it by the time that this video comes out but that basically says that it's issued with the authority um, of the 
Senate, uh, which they didn't say on the silver coins because they really weren't being issued with much authority from the Senate, to be honest. Um, that one looks like a Commodus coin, um, a Commodus bronze larger item um, with a decent state of preservation uh, is my best, you know, given that it says C-O-M-M-O, you know, which rulers is that going to be? Um, and then this one's labeled 150, so also presumably reasonably high value and really pretty. I don't know if that's a, and it says Antioch, maybe that's the mint would be my guess. Let's see if we get any uh, information here. Yeah, Laodicea, Caracalla, Tetradram makes sense. Really pretty look to it. Um, very nice surfaces and nice. Probably a bill in Tetradram. Um, I've transacted with a fair amount of those in the past. Um, another American Silver Eagle, 1997. Cool coin. Let's see what's this one's a little more modern. Queen Elizabeth uh, looks silver, um, and it's going to be a Bermuda crown. I think that these are 50% silver, but still a decent item. Um, nice. Uh, let's see, can continue along. No marking on this coin, and it's going to be another uh, Greek. Bronze looks like some machine doubling, uh, if I had to guess, and a Gordian. Gordian reigned, what, like two, either 44 to, there's three Gordians. The first two were for a very short amount of time, but that one's actually a pretty attractive ancient coin. So I really like the look of that um, super clear portrait. Nice item. Um, what's in here? Here it looks like, that looks like a Julian the Apostate, but I could be wrong. Um, it's a similar type to some of those coins. Very easily could be something... Uh, different from that, uh, and I'm not feeling anything in that little pouch, but here, that one kind of looks like somebody ruling as uh, Caesar Augustus. Um, sure, it could figure out with a little bit more time, um, but maybe uh, Antoninus Pius, something like that. Uh, and then let's see which this coin is. Maybe this uh, it says uh, Licinius, so that's probably a Licinius coin as opposed to Julian the apostate coin but going to be fourth century bronze i still have to get all the mint marks down like i don't know what shant means i've seen it um a few times for sure but uh not like confident in terms of properly uh you know letting you guys know let's see what these are if they're 40 or these look like 90 percent silver 1964 64 all 64 i mean that's like melt value of like 70 bucks at the time i'm filming this video so that's pretty good um, what do we have here? This one looks like imp case, uh, M A. I uh, don't know off the top of my head who that would be. Um, looks like that was, uh, purchased in France though. So that's pretty cool. Um, nice item, good portrait, but, uh, you know, again, I'm not an ancient expert. Um, you know, before I sell a coin, I'll have it identified by people really, really knowledgeable. Here's I think 92.5% silver from Bahamas, and then I'll also, like, confirm, you know, once I have an ID, then I can much more easy, easily, like, look something up to confirm. Um, an Olympic commemorative 25 pesos from 1968 from Mexico. Um, so, lots of interesting, seemingly, like, world crown size silver items. Um, this one looks like some sort of a Russian coin, metal. Let's see, 1829 Russian presumably like two ruble a little cut up there up top and we'll have to look into that more but that's the same um you know mint mark that i see on some of the other or like minting authority on some of the other russian coins so very much checks out that could be a little bit rarer most likely uh this one also looks like some big silver 20 balboas from panama 92.5 percent silver you know i would say probably close to 100 bucks maybe more than that probably more than that silver value um this one doesn't you know no coins in here there is a coin in there let's see what it is um looks like some sort of a denarius coin of maybe also the antonines uh antoninus pius there's like different rulers though i believe that would strike under that authority um no information but this is like a denarius coin so uh cool ancient silver denarius very neat um i'm a big fan i think that was the like one day's wages uh for a worker here's what i'm used to a king Ca queen catherine um the great uh 1766 five copex i think they minted them like this from like 1763 to 1789 but they're huge um 
and you know that's a, a coin that I deal in a little bit more often. Um, another one of these 500 probably yen coins. I wonder if they're rare. Uh, I just don't really know, like to be honest. Um, I want to try to not touch these too much. Um, you know, let's see. That looks like it could be the modern. Uh, French 50 franc, which it is 1976, good amount of silver in there, uh, and it's got the classic Hercules design, which is cool, um, so that's good. What else do we have? We've got United Nations 10 something, some sort of a commemorative medal, Nixon's visit to Peking. Interesting. Some of the Chinese material can be super valuable. 1977 50 francs from France, um, and then a larger coin of Wilhelmino, who's a little bit older, Two and a half golden from 1937. Super cool. I've seen and bought some one golden coins from this time from that queen, but uh, never the two and a half golden. So that's a really large silver coin for sure. Um, and then right here, we've got 10, 10 G. Um, let's see. Beatrix Königin der Nederlanden, the queen of the Netherlands. Super cool. T oh, 10 golden, of course. That makes sense. Um, but from a more modern era. Uh, so very nice um what's this N unclear 1854 two and a half golden i've seen the older ones um queen willem the william the third uh oh 1854 over 52 let's see if we can see the um not super apparent immediately but um and the coin's been cleaned but it's still got a fair amount of historical value uh here's a one onza um libertad so ounce of mexican silver nice um and then what else do we have here? Here is some Israeli. Um, there's lots of Israeli uh, silver commemorative. There's a 26th anniversary coin. Nice. I don't think that has too much premium, but it is a nice silver item. Um, and then after that, we've got this Russian item, possibly a medal. Let's see. Uh, or just a five ruble, 1988, five rubles. I don't think that this is actually has much value to it. Um, could be wrong, but I don't think, you know, I've seen some more modern stuff like that and... You know, I'll, I'll do the research after the video. Um, but this is 1933 five franc um, from Louis Philippe. Uh, so again, more crown size world silver coinage, which is always awesome. Um, and then that one looks like a proof five rubles. Um, and that one maybe a 10 rubles. Uh, also from, um, yeah, also from Russia, sort of pro uh, very near the downfall of the Soviet Union. This next coin is going to be a $10 coin from... The Bahamas, nice. I think presumably 92.5% silver. Um, have never seen, that's, you know, a real large denomination. Bunch of silver in there, but super cool item. Um, and then as we move through, let's see, I see more silver looking items. That one looks like it could be Jamaican from that side. Yes, there it says Jamaica. Cool. I'm trying to not damage this case. Jamaican. Sterling silver, $10. There would be, yeah, lots of Canadian mints and other private mints would like often strike coins for countries that don't exist, don't have their own mint, but the countries can make a little money and they market the material. You know, the, the minting business, you know, is not a bad business because people want to buy collector items. Um, this one probably is going to come out of the case here, but a proof sterling silver, 1973, $2. You know, struck by the Franklin mint. That was a mint that um, produced a bunch of way overpriced items and, um, you know, collector items, and they sort of went over their skis a little bit, and, you know, then collapsed, basically, but, uh, you know, not, not a place that I would probably buy too many coins from. This one's 1833 silver, five francs. There we see tea, which I think is the Tours Mint, um, so interesting item, um, and then seems like a lot of nice French items. That one's been uh, heavily X'd, scratched, 1934, also of Louis Philippe, though. Uh, good, good, solid silver, very historic. And when you can think about what that would cost relative to, like, a U.S. silver dollar, it's really an incredible, uh, you know, from that same period, a, a really incredible comparison. This here it looks like 1812, 10 centimes. What does this say around that? I've never seen this design. Something here on mm, Napoleon. Koenig. So... German states, I mean, it was definitely at the time when Napoleon was sort of running rampant um, all through Europe, conquering a bunch. Um, so that makes sense, but I'll have to do a little more, more research after. This one looks like a Pontos Amasos coin. These were like 
about 90 to 50 BC or so. This one's not in particularly good condition. Um, Medusa coin. Yeah, I don't think it's 200 BC. I think it's a little bit, uh, you know, closer to us than that. But still, you know, ancient coins, always really fun. Um, and let's see what this one is. Seems like a larger planchet. Antoninus Pius Cistercius. Okay, let's see how it looks. It actually looks pretty nice. Um, good detail on it on this side. Certainly, I mean, I think some things, some sort of effect has gone on with the patina um, on this side, but that's pretty common, and this one's attractive. Like, has a nice look. Uh, really cool. Very chunky. Ancient, ancient Roman coin um, of the Antonines. And then... Let's see what this is. We got a monster Falkland Islands, 25 pounds. Wow. Um, could see that carrying some considerable value from 1986. Super interesting. Wow. Um, neat item. Um, we're really, I mean, if, if it's only on silver value, we've gotten a lot of that so far. So can't complain. And then more of these commemorative. Maybe it was all commems from the same year, like 500, I think, yen coins. Um, oh, oh my goodness. Um, Looks like we've got some Chinese coins, and these could have some enormous value. Um, I don't know the designs too well, but should be more careful than them. Okay, this one, um, interesting. I don't know if that's like a bunch of die clash marks or something. You can see sort of where there's like some marks. Let's take a look. Ooh, uh, okay. Uh, I think that these don't look authentic. Because, um, I mean, something like this would be worth a ton of money, and just the feel of it is totally, like, like look at that. Look at the, um, like, the striations and the lines running through. I mean, it could be cleaned or something. I'm going to have to take these to an expert who knows Chinese coins really well, because that's not, that's, like, probably what I know the least about. I mean, <laughs> they still toned really nicely. Like, those characters just don't look good, or, or the way that these coins have been struck. Um, I think I'll have to get out a scale. Maybe towards the end of this video, we can do that. Um, but those are going to be worth a ton of money if they're real. I'm just pretty skeptical. Um, I got excited when I saw them, but I, I'm pretty positive, actually, that those are. But, I mean, even if one of them is real, there's, like, the first one didn't catch my attention until I flipped it over. And the, um, the lettering just looks off. Um, so, anyways. This one's uh, Panamanian 20 Balboa again. This one's Proof 1975. Really nice deep cameo strike. Um, so, again, big amounts of world silver um, and just poundage. Here's a 1780 Restrike Austrian Taller. So, when you see these coins, they're almost always not made in 1780, but they've been restruck uh, for a long time. Um, nice item what else do we have this one from Stax bowers that means it's probably let's see egypt ptolemy philadelphos a 46 46 millimeter super cool i wonder you know i'm interested i don't know how much ancient coins have gone up maybe they've gone up a lot maybe not but this is a beast of a coin huge item i mean compare it to like this is well actually it's not so, I mean, this is a pretty large coin, but I'm trying to think. Here's a five franc coin, and it's similar, but then look at the size of the, you know, the weight. Anyways, um, we'll have to look into this further, but um, very neat. Um, let's see what else we've got here. Looks like another Antoninus Pius Denarius. Nice, probably worth, I don't know, 40, 50 bucks. Re the Ancients is interesting retail because like what you can source stuff wholesale is a lot lower than the retail often. Um, nice, uh, another Antoninus. Uh, this one could be, this looks like an Antoninianus. Um, let's see, Antoninus. Huh, I'm not sure exactly which ruler it is, but the diademed uh, crown probably means it's, the face value is two times the, of that of a Denarius. Um, often they would not put that amount of, the proper amount of metal in. Um, this one looks like a family of the Constantines, uh, you know, late sort of 4th century um, bronze. And then this one, another Antoninus Pius Denarius coin. Mm, let's see what's in here. Uh, Great Britain farthing from 
1674. It says 30 bucks. Hopefully that means it's in pretty good condition and doesn't look like it's in crazy condition, but maybe it's a better date or something. Um, and I mean, it's still a 1674 coin from Britain. That's pretty clearly dated. So incredible, incredible item. Wow. This is like a, if I could hunt this every day, I would be totally thrilled. Um, this one looks like probably some sort of a Lithuanian or Polish or yeah, this looks familiar. I think it's John Casimir or something like Vaza probably in the late 1600s would be my best guess um, on when this coin was produced. Um, Poland 69, so maybe 1669. Nice. Um, cool item. And it's crazy that we've only like made a dent on like one of these pockets. Have we already even looked at this? I don't even know. It says 480. I don't know if that's dollars. 1784 and whoa. Huge. This one looks more real to me. Now, I just don't know what these are worth, but I would assume that, like, this looks really nice. Uh, and I would think is a Chinese coin. Um, oh, man, somebody wrote 200 on it. I hope that that could be removed or conserved. This could be worth a lot of money, though. I'm not totally sure, but I think that it could be worth a bunch. Um, if you know, definitely comment. And, like, this is the sort of thing where I'll just take it to, like, one of the experts that I deal with, again, on Chinese material. Um, my estimate would that be that this is a reasonably valuable coin, though, because the Chinese coin market has run up a lot since this collection probably was put together. So if it was 200 then, I think it would be a lot more right now. Um, and that one looks much more authentic. And then, how cool is that? 1895, it obviously struck sooner than that. Okay, 1988. This looks sort of like a straight settlements trade dollar um, design, like just into, uh, I don't know, maybe five ounces of silver or something like that. Um, but we're done with this. I'm going to take a little pause and keep going. And I guess I'll probably go this way with this box, um, which, let's see, um, it says New York Mint Certificate of Authenticity. And very interesting, um, this uh, invoice looks like it's from around 1997, um, and it looks like it's a payment. I didn't want to show the whole thing because it had some address information, um, but of some Roman emperors. Um, so these are, you know, let's see, this is, they look like pretty circulated um, Roman bronzes. Val Valens, um, interesting, with some historical information. So it's like a cool way, it's like relatively maybe marketed ancient coins um severus alexander they do look you know not in a i think that there's certainly still some solid value here um but it's not like you know they're pretty circulated coins i would say um aurelian but yeah all through seems like the third and fourth century that one looks like what licinius or one of the tetrarchy yeah licinius nice um Interesting. Let's see. I, I mean, my identification is still not ideal. Constantine the Great makes sense. Um, okay, but I don't think that these are going to be like, you know, maybe they're like 10 bucks, 15 bucks with the full identification and interesting information and packaging. Um, you know, raw, they're probably like to a dealer, like a $3, $4 coin. And then to a collector, like the retail value is more towards like 10, 15. Um, interesting item but probably i don't know not crazy crazy valuable let's see what this one is um very cool um 1989 i don't know what the i know 1995 actually is the good date so hopefully he's got some 1995 ases um in here but 1989 i mean it's still like a 60 70 80 i don't know what the exact value is because i don't really do tons with moderns um outside of like i know that it's a really booming industry uh, Deke International, American Eagle. Let's see. Large Panamanian again, silver, 20 Balboas. And the interesting thing is, ooh, and it looks like there's um, another a bonus 1989 Silver Eagle in there. Um, but snuck in this 1974. The Panamanian stuff, you can, I could go and spend that uh, for like 20 bucks um, in the States because they link their dollar to the United States one. So kind of interesting. Um, what are these items? Looks like some old flips. I didn't recognize the design. Um, let's see. We've got a French, 20 francs, 1933. Very cool. Um, we've got a Mexican uncirculated 1968, I think. Um, 
should be uh, Olympic commemorative. 50 shillings from Austria. Um, let's see, a proof Austrian 1969 Maximilian. Uh, 50 shilling, probably like 80% silver. And then also this one appears to be from 1967. Um, so more sweet world silver items and that would be my guess as to what some of this material is um so let's see another onsa mexican libertad uh we've got constantine constantine the first probably just like a regular i mean but some of in really nice condition they're worth a ton um that does not appear to be in such great condition so this is like a pr pretty common coin um you know with the corrosion maybe it's worth i don't know not tons over 10 bucks would be my best guess um we've got another one this one looks like to have a better portrait and it could be any one of the constantine constantinian empire but uh the corrosion there is going to really hurt it again um which is unfortunate but i mean when you think that you can hold a well identified you know clear details coin for like 10 15 bucks from the 300s you know that's a pretty decent value I, I would think a lot of people would think um right here we've got a philip the fourth i don't know if that's 16 maravetti's yeah probably 16 m would be 16 maravetti's that one has pretty decent eye appeal really cool item um this one sasanian chapor the second i don't know the rulers very well i try to buy them better identified but that wouldn't surprise me because this does have a different type than like kusro is a little more common so um we'll have to look into this a bit more but pretty chipped down sasanian dram that's like modern day iran they would they took over the um the parthian empire and then they would be like uh absorbed by the islamic um, movement and then here is a really nice looking Anonymous Follis. I want to say that this is a Class B Anonymous Follis, but um, very good portrait of Jesus Christ. Um, and often these were double struck. Uh, I don't know if this is double struck or just like they were often struck over other planchets, but um, yeah, I don't know if it's overstruck. Let's see what this says. Yeah, Follis. This one is probably like from more towards like, you know, 1025 AD, um, but the circa, I mean, I think as we've gotten you know more clear better history we know a little bit more um let's see right here we've got a monaco 1969 i'm sure silver 10 franc um we've got another one of these large chinese hopefully this one doesn't have 200 written on it um cash coins so excited i think that this one feels like a little larger yeah uh certainly a little bit thicker but um g hopefully is really good news and then Something was in here at some point. Um, interesting. And then what is this? Uh, 1564 Philip, another 16 Maravetti's coin. Yep, this one's a little bit, or that looks like 1664. Um, you know, a little bit clearer, nicer detail on that one. Very, very nice. Um, fun. Okay, so what else do we have? Um, really enjoying this hunt, though. It's so cool to see. Another half crown, I think 50% silver. Nice item um let's see what's in here this one feels like it you know hopefully is a thicker um okay nice uh and it's gotten some toning from being in an envelope for a long time 1990 american silver eagle very cool another you know silver is at 24 those trade at a solid premium especially the older dates and i will presume possibly incorrectly i feel like lots of twists and turns but no this is another one 1990 american silver eagle sweet um let's see what else this one's probably going to be one of those half dollars yep um 90 silver commemorative half dollar proof um washington coin um so you know n not a standout value on that one um oh we got a chinese characters um coin set of two coins 20th anniversary of the founding of tibet how neat um this okay i don't want to i want to try to the thing is with these is like this looks much more not counterfeit and like some of these have just like r randomly crazy high values just with the popularity of like chinese coins and bullion um so i don't know i just want to have this one be carefully treated uh, but it looks like a copper nickel coin and a silver item very fun um yeah again that goes in the research more because 
Chinese coins values are really high and I don't really know, you know what I'm looking at. It's not a market where I feel like I have much of an edge. Um, here, that is a gorgeous coin. Um, Antoninus Pius Aug. I mean, maybe it's like something where they treated the surface and, and cleaned it up, but I really like how the surfaces appear. Um, struck with the authority of the Senate. Nice ancient item. Um, and then, let's see, we got a France 1641 Liard. That's a copper coin. Um, nice, or a double tournois. So that's like 160th or 120th of a um, French écu, I believe. Um, or like they're, maybe it's the, I, I, don't, know. I don't know. I'm not as familiar. And here's an Umayyad Fals coin. This is probably not worth much um but like an interesting islamic coin this is a really fun collection in the sense that it seems to really get to the heart of like a lot of different coin histories from around the world this appears to be maybe a greek macedonian or is this what is this bithnian i i forget exactly oh it sounds and it feels like there's another coin inside um but like a decent looking bronze item there uh and then oh nice um a attractive denarius uh as well so that one look or antoninianus maybe a gordian Probably Gordian the Third, Antoninianus, which probably that value of thirty is maybe it's like a forty dollar coin today. Not sure what um or maybe a fifty dollar coin. Not sure what this would be. But this one has much more Greek style um, lettering, so uh, but it looks pretty decent. Um, okay, so we've got. I'll try to stop saying um. I'm sure there's going to be some sort of commentary about it, but this is really an epic hunt 50 francs from belgium probably 83.5 percent silver leopold the third um going back a little bit to willem uh, 1846 two and a half golden and then we've got a 50 a belgian probably 50 francs from i would assume silver from like the 60s or so is, is my guess and then uh, I, again, don't know why exactly. I hope that these, they don't look silver. I just don't know if they're super rare Japanese coins. And that pretty much confirms that it is a Japanese coin, just the, having the flag there. Um, here's a Felicitas reverse, uh, presumably, of, is that like Julia Domna? Let's see what this says. Uh, oh, Otisilia Severa, um, who I, I think was one of the, like, wives of one of the, in this one of the Severan uh, dynasty rulers, but lots of attractive ancient coins. Gonna go through a more special process in selling them. And these these are old school wrapped. They feel, I feel like they feel like ancient coins on the inside of them, um, and it looks like they are. This one also looking very much to be either Roman provincial or Greek. Let's see what this says it doesn't okay this says has no information about the purchaser but it looks like a parisian coin store had this one in stock um so well-traveled individual purchased this coin these group of coins um oh that one looks pretty nice it's been cleaned a bit in the modern era but um is this a maxim maximinius uh interesting um i assume again 120 francs that's 260 francs that's a lot less in you know u.s coins but has a very uh, familiar portrait style and then this last one hopefully this one's a gold maybe an aureus uh, we'll see haven't seen any gold in this collection so far and it looks like a pretty beaten down maybe commodus septim uh, diocletian uh diocletian item sweet um We've got more coins here. These feel like they could be crown size silver, and they are. 1964, 50% silver from Bermuda again, and then another one. Still nice, like uncirculated coins. Great. Um, we've got, let's see, a nice, another nice Greek item or possibly Roman, but I, I have no idea on the um, identification there. I, I don't identify quite as many of the bronzes. Those generally take a little bit more work. Um, 1871 five lire from Italy. Uh, there should be some good premium on a coin like that. Um, and then we've got this one, which looks like 1970, some sort of a Panamanian coin again, five Balboas, 92.5% silver. Super, super cool. 
let's see what we've got here. Um, another nice and interesting, you know, these could have a fair amount of value. Um, I just don't really know. Going to have to get those um, sent off for identification. Um, another Japanese coin here, and then that's just like a regular American silver eagle. Um, but Japanese, and I don't know if that's Japanese or Chinese. Again, I don't sell stuff that, where I don't have a good picture for what it is. Um, ooh. Um, Isle of Man, 1977. It looks gold. This person clearly had enough money where it could be gold, but I don't really... I would be surprised to find gold in here. Pobjoy Mint, Sutton, Surrey, England. Huh, this one will definitely be researched. Um, I would assume that this would... I feel like I've dealt with some similar era gold that's like 50% gold or something. Hopefully this would be pure gold. Um, <laughs> if it if it is, um, that would be worth quite a, a bit. I mean, it's a pretty heavy coin, so... You know, could be staring at a thousand plus bucks in my hand. Um, we'll have to keep you updated on that front, but that's exciting. Uh, wow. Wow. Nice. Really, really cool. I mean, because everything here has been like lots of silver. Here's an American Silver Eagle. Let's see what year this one is. 1997. Mm. It feels heavy, but I should still check that it's in there. Yep. Um, and then looks like we've got... These could be the same company as before. Um bunch of other like ancient items um very cool what it constants yeah i mean it's nice to have all of the historical information the thing is these days it's a lot easier to like go to wikipedia if you know that what is that a galleon galenianus aurelian um you know decent portraits on the reverse um but lots of commemoratives what's that's a nice portrait as well um, sweet. Well, a bunch more bronze ancients of not wild value. And then the last one, last coin on the left, and I'll have to like do a deep sweep of the coin, it's, of the box itself afterwards, um, is going to be this commemorative probably. Urbis, is it the Urbis Roma? No, but it looks similar. I think that this is like mid 300s AD. That one's actually really nice. So that one, you know, not having the corrosion should command a solid premium just because like, an ancient coin with good eye appeal is really appealing <laughs> to people uh, for pretty obvious reasons. Um, but it looks like we've still got a fair amount of stuff left here, which is definitely a good thing when you ask me. Um, this one is another ancient item. Uh, I don't know quite as well. You know, we'll have to look into that one a little bit more. It, that could be Nero. It says Imp Case, Emperor Caesar. N-E-R, or maybe it's Nerva, I don't know. Again, I'm not an, I'm learning because I find the history really interesting, but I also, my core is less the ancient items. Um, okay, I can feel the coin in there. Um, so I, I still, you know, I, I know that I leave a little to be desired with my commentary. That one's minted in Constantinople, um, and it's going to be... Looks like Constantius, you know, there's there's multiple, the Constantine sort of rule, there's different people, whether it's Constans or Constantine the Great, I feel like there's Constantine II, I don't know, I forget if there's a third. Um, this one looks like Swedish 16-somethings quarter ore. Yep. Um, okay, 50, 1657, I've bought a few of those um, from other places in the past, kind of recently, so I recognize that one. Um, and then... Nice, another, uh, that one, that's like a, somebody who's got a shield striking, um, like a, a fallen adversary. Um, they're a little bit graphic sometimes with their coins. Um, here's a one Kreuzer from Austria from 1762, it looks like. And this is probably really low percentage silver. Um, yep, so, or no, it's not silver, but it is a 1762 Kreuzer from Austria. Constantine the first. Let's um, take a look. Ooh, it's corroded again. Bummer. Um, really reduces the value. That's unfortunate, but is the case sometimes and can't worry about it. Ooh, and then another nice, um, pretty large 
Okay, so Nerva. Okay, that one looks like a, a Nerva if I've ever seen one. Um, N e r v a t r a or Trajan. Maybe it's maybe Nerva. Is Nerva the wife of Trajan? Very well could be. Um, but again, I'm sort of guessing there. Um, a cleaned 1887 with some PVC Morgan silver dollar. Still worth like 30 plus, but um, decent coin. That one looks like another constant. You know. 4th century Roman Imperial. And then two Alexandria, Alexandrian tetradrams um, from a little bit later. Okay, wow. Oh, those actually has a, has a good portrait. I mean, these are like super low percentage silver. But I don't know, you know, with ancient coins, I really don't know what's worth a ton and what's worth less. Um, yeah. Be good to look into that. But, um, you know. A good amount, a little bit of surface issues, but I mean, all the ancient coins pretty much were in the ground um, for at least some time. So, uh, you know, they have their various issues. More world silver here. Let's see what this is. Um, some Italian, something fell out. Maybe that's it. 500 lire. I assume that that's what this is. Nice. Um, cool. And now it looks like we've got some sets to go through. This one's a more modern silver pound from the United Kingdom. One pound proof coin. Sweet. I'm going to just move stuff over at this point because my desk is really, really full. Um, more Panamanian. And then that one looks like a, obviously, Queen Elizabeth. But we'll see what the reverse is. Ooh, 1972, 25th anniversary. Um, Elizabeth and Philip. Commemorative coin. Looks silver from the outside appearance. So that's good news. Uh, then we have a boxless 1986 first year um, American Silver Eagle. That's sweet. Singaporean coin, 92.5% silver. That could have a little bit of premium, 1981. Um, $5, five Singaporean dollars. You know, again, a lot of the Asian coins have just been going crazy over the past like five year trend. Ooh, and it feels like there's a bunch of coins in here. Okay, in the wrong holder. I'm going to just pour these out into my hand. Oh. There was only two coins. I think it was just that this one was like a stray, um, you know, low lower value ancient coin. Then there's the Tetradram, um, L-I-E. I don't think that that's saying lie. I'm sure that... Actually, I think that that has to do with what year the coin was made in, um, like what regnal year the coin was, or L-I might be the mint mark. Uh, I forget exactly. But I've seen, I've seen Alexandrian Tetradrams of Nero, and they also have like L-I often with some other... Uh, extra like identifier this one is a banded coin and it seems like the case has seen better days i don't want the coins to go flying okay there's the back so it's probably going to be open this way jamaican ten dollar silver proof nice cool item <laughs> um what else do we have here um uh, first alliance corporation Ooh, nice um Looks like some sort of a 1994 Chinese gold coin. I mean, again, that, I have no idea what the value is. Mm. But the market on these can be crazy if it's just like the right item. Um, this one looks like bullion, so it's probably less so. Unicorn, five won. I mean, you know, watch this be like a $300 coin. I have no idea. Maybe it's just worth whatever the gold value is, but... I'll be excited to learn more um, and do a little bit of research after this. Okay, that's cool. That one looks like a pretty nice looking, actually, Russian five ruble gold coin. You know, I know that there was like a bid out of a floor of like 300 bucks on these things. Um, or maybe that was for the 10. No, I think it was for the fives. Um, the good news, or not the good news, but just so you're aware. The packaging is not going to make a difference on the value here. This is going to be sold without the packaging. 1909, 5 rubles. I mean, that's a nice nice shape. I think that that would command a strong premium. It might be worth like 400 bucks. So really crushing it um, in this last half, which was not necessarily what I would have you know, expected or known. Wow, that one looks gorgeous. Desermianus. Wow. Beautiful denarius. Unbelievable. Claudius, Nero, Claudius. 
I mean, again, I don't know always the authenticity, but this looks like a gorgeous coin in an upper level of condition. You know, this might be the sort of thing that I would like consign to one of the top ancient coin auction houses um, because I'm going to help sell this uh, collection. Gorgeous, gorgeous item. Wow. Unbelievable. Okay, well, thrilled about that one, um, and that's going to be treated specially for sure. Um, this one's heavy. Hopefully it's a big gold coin. We'll see. My guess is Panamanian. Um, cause I've, I've got some of the Panamanian items before. Okay. No, I was wrong. 1988 moment of discovery Bahamas minted at Stuttgart, large silver commemorative coin. Again, most likely the value is going to be there in just a big chunk of sterling silver, but we have yet to, to see, um, Okay, nice, 1880 silver dollar. Let's see if this has a, uh, what mint market's got? S mint, I mean, it's kind of, you know, definitely, like, I would call that at least, well, the back is proof, like, the obverse is just in really nice shape. I don't know, what do you guys grade this thing? I'd probably call it, like, a, you know, straight grade four maybe a five reverse is gorgeous you probably have to see it out of the holder it's got a few nicks maybe it's a five um or what do you think higher but i don't think it's yeah maybe it's a five um have to look at it in a different lighting but definitely an exciting and good item um what's what do we have in here we've got a belgian Ooh. That one looks more obviously gold than the earlier, um, what was it, 1977 Isle of Man. And it looks like a half troy ounce, 50 AQ of pure gold from Belgium. Sweet. That's a great, another great outcome. Wow. Um, you know, that's like 950 bucks of gold. This is really, we've saved the be I mean some of the best stuff was in the front but there certainly has been a really strong finish um often when you get to the sets in a collection that's where it sort of tapers off proof American silver eagle you know those things are not not cheap um this could be exciting 1988 very cool American silver eagle but super curious what's inside this package my guess is it's going to be another American silver eagle what do you guys think um Wow, I feel like there's just a ton of work that I'm excited about doing to figure all of it out, but like this is gonna be a cool and interesting process. Okay, it looks like we've gotten it down. Ooh, and it's not a silver eagle. This one is gonna be a 1780 restrike. So the thing is, they restruck these like dating back. So for all I know, this could be like one of the 1780 to 1850 types. Um, I don't know. But this is not like a restrike taller made in the last 30 or 40 years. Um, definitely has circulated solidly. And I'll be curious to see, you know, do the research, figure it out. Um, because, you know, this, uh, I've, if you're watching at this point, it's probably been like an hour. Um, what on earth? Okay, I'm going to open that. I may have to take a pause to do so. Um, what is this? 10,000 won South Korean silver. Nice from 1987. Uh, could definitely have some value. And then what do we have in here? Interesting. Spree taller. Fine silver. This one doesn't. It's a silver taller. Let's see if it's got a, a date information. It's definitely 999 silver. Um, but I don't have much beyond that. It doesn't look like it's government coinage. Um, and I mean, wow, this has just been an incredible hunt. I'm sure you'll hear some stories about it as things unfold, like what the numbers are, like a follow-up maybe I'll do in like a year. This is a five, 1995 five mark um, from the Euro Mint um, certificate, but incredible, incredible hunt, um, you know, just thousands of dollars of coins my guess is the value on something like this if you know assuming if these are all fake which i'm pretty sure they are fake um i could see the rest of this stuff being worth like at least 5k more than that um very likely like i don't know what the chinese stuff in the back is going to be worth um i don't know what some of the ancients are going to come back but 
thrilling hunt. So excited about it. And if you have somebody that you know that with a Bitcoin collection, you know, I try to go the extra mile and really put in the necessary work to get them the most money um, for their coins and treat them, you know, treat treat the coins with, you know, a good amount of respect in the sense of, you know, not just like wholesaling all of it out, um, but, but trying to stretch things. So i um, very excited. And I'll look forward to seeing you guys on some of my other videos. Um, this one was probably the favorite one that I've filmed so far this year um, and hoping to continue with some of these sweet hunts uh, in the future.